Hi, I'm Jeff Lyon here at the uh, uh, Coolit booth at CES 2010, and uh, we're actually showcasing four brand new products here at the show, and uh, looking forward to introducing them to TweetDown. We're going to start out with actually the next evolution in CPU cooling coming from Coolit. It's called the, the Eco ALC. So this this version of our advanced liquid cooling is actually now changing a little bit since we introduced the Domino over at the uh, CES last year. The, the changes were, we were listening to our customers and they were saying, well, sometimes in my case I have a fan so I don't want to run into the shroud. Some people didn't necessarily want to have all the functionality like the LCD and the different profiles for fan control. There was a lot of different capabilities so what we decided to do was we would just simplify it right down, move the pump from off of the radiator area down into the CPU module and the CPU module, as you can see in here, is very tidy, it's very clean, and it allows us to have an efficient, lightweight, low-cost liquid cooling solution that is ultra-high performance. We actually did a lot of improvements, even right down to the pump and the energy consumption of the pump. It's now consuming one watt and is, a, is incredibly quiet. In fact, most of the time you can't even hear it unless you put your ear right on it, which is obviously difficult when it's in a case. Um, so what we wanted to do is actually use the regulation of the motherboard right out of, um, uh, for the fan. So it's a four pin fan. It maximizes it, or its maximum speed is about 1700 RPM. And it is normally running quite a bit lower than that since the motherboard would have to be responding to fairly high temperatures in order to, to ramp it up to that high. In looking at the experience with the product, we wanted to also solve a little bit of a, a chronic problem in this industry. It's the retention. The retention is incredibly difficult to deal with because we have to adapt to various different sockets. In the socket um, range from Intel, we're now dealing with 775, 1156, and 1366. As a manufacturer, it's a little bit of a nightmare. However, we decided we would actually turn this into an opportunity to put a better solution in the hands of our customers. So we actually went to the drawing board and actually designed from the ground up a new patent pending system that allows us to actually just spring it back, move it, and clip it in. So in less than 10 seconds, I can actually change 775 to yeah, that's, that's really super impressive. To, there's to six, yeah, yeah, really good, really good. So we've got lots of flexibility. You don't have to take any little bits and pieces apart. You don't need any tools. You can do it. And as a matter of fact, if you forgot to do the last one as you're putting it in the motherboard and you think to yourself, oh, damn, I've already got this one started, this one started, and this one started, and I need to change that one, I could actually even clip it in while it's still in there, which is really handy. and believe that it's a, a tremendous advantage in terms of uh, a retention system. If we actually even take a look at the details, we've actually got a hex on the inside of our tool runoff protection. So if you did you want to use a screwdriver, then the screwdriver can't slip off and damage your motherboard. Beyond that, we've actually got a knurled outside edge so that you can actually put it in toolless. So again, just taking it to that next level and considering all the little details that are important in delivering a good, well-finished, professionally integrated product. Again, the system, like all Coolit products, is factory sealed and maintenance free. It never requires any refilling or maintenance and has a design life of up to seven years. Now, the next generation in CPU cooling, we'll take it around to this side. The first thing that you notice when we look at the Vantage ALC is that we actually have a full graphic LCD integrated onto that CPU module. It has the flexibility and ability to actually display temperatures, fan speeds, pump speeds, it has alarms, you know, all the functionality that you saw come available with the Domino, but actually even beyond that, we're allowing you to have expanding control. So instead of just saying, okay, I want to have the quiet or the performance or the extreme positions for the fan uh, response profile to the CPU coolant, what we're going to do is actually allow you to reduce the speed of the rest of your chassis fans. So you have two additional fan headers that can also be regulated. Now, what isn't necessarily obvious right away is the fact that there is no wire connection going from the Vantage head unit over to the fan control node. It's actually got an embedded wireless communication capability right in the CPU module. So it can wirelessly communicate 
You know, it's only a short hop, but wire management for those that are experienced in this business is a nightmare. So we wanted to make this experience as polished and simple as possible. It also allows us a lot of other kind of handy features. Like for example, we can actually see the third product that we're introducing here at the show, which is the Omni ALC. The Omni ALC is actually demonstrated here with a 240 millimeter radiator, an integrated pump bracket, integrated RGB LEDs. Well, I, I didn't necessarily, I'm not sure if I mentioned that the um, LCD on the Vantage is also RGB backlit, so you can change the color to whatever you want. Um, the same thing goes for the accessory lights on the uh, um, Omni ALC, but the real innovation in the Omni is actually down here right on the video cards. These are truly universal, full coverage card systems. So what we have is actually a long, low profile um, cold plate that uh, circulates liquid across the entire card and then there's actually an interposer plate that takes care of the custom requirements to touch all the various different card topography. So the hot spot is also obviously the GPU, but we gotta take care of the RAM and the voltage and everything else. So we wanted to make sure that you had the ability to then, if you're gonna invest in a liquid cooling system for your GPUs, then why not have that live on and be now a part of your case system? If you then upgrade your GPUs, you've got the ability to then just unbolt the liquid cool um, blocks on there, get it, the upgraded interposer plate, and then bolt them back on. So your liquid system now stays and your interposer plate and GPUs can be upgraded simply without you having to cut tubes, fill liquid, or do anything complicated. The fourth product that we're actually introducing here at the show is actually enabled with a little USB dongle. Since we've got a wireless node inside the Omni, we've got a wireless node inside the Vantage and another wireless node inside the fan controllers, we can then actually just simply by having a, a USB um, uh, wireless chip, put that in and then it enables software control of the entire environment. I actually don't have it in this system, but we can walk right over here and I'll show you what it looks like. So what we're looking at here is actually the Maestro kit. The Maestro kit is the controller node, what we've mentioned that comes at the Vantage, it also comes with the Omni, and you can actually now buy it separately as well. And this gives you the ability to regulate three fans or pumps. It has a temperature sensor, which is the two wire node you come out here, and also actually allows you to have full RGB lighting accessory kit. So you have then the USB controller, which connects you to the software so that you can actually have full software control of your environment and do zone-based control. Now, zone-based control is not a new concept. A lot of the, the advanced PC designers have been using zone-based controls with different technologies for quite some time. What we wanted to do is simplify it. So in this Maestro kit, we've got that temperature sensor and you actually get three RGB lighting um, RGB lighting strips, and uh, the retail price of this product is actually going to be $89, but I'll show you what the software looks like. So what we have is an ability, at, I'm not sure if this is actually hooked up right now, but um, what we have is an ability to very quickly and easily actually control different devices by zone. So I can actually change zones with, I have, you know, if I had two fans and an RGB lighting, then I can configure the RGB lighting over here. Right now it's actually temperature controlled so that as things get warmer in that zone, then my RGB lights are gonna change color. The uh, other opportunity is maybe I just wanted to find a custom color. I've got the full RGB spectrum to choose from. I wanna make it blue, then I can make it all blue, or I can make it turquoise, or you know, maybe I'm gonna make it purple. It, it, sky's the limit and people want to have the flexibility to customize whatever they want. If I wanted to actually configure the fan capabilities, as I mentioned, we've got defaults to make it simple, quiet, performance, or extreme. I can actually also get a lot more detailed and go into custom control, which allows me to change a full five-point fan curve. What temperatures invoke, what points, and you can actually then customize and tweak to your heart's content. If I wanted to actually have a fixed RPM, I can do that.
just simply by dialing in what the RPM is. Now we've done something kind of special which allows us to not just say guess at what percentage of PWM the fan needs to be at. To, you know, if I've got a, uh, a 2,000 RPM fan and I want to hit 1,000 RPM, I would obviously initially guess I want to run it at 50%. Well, the fans don't all respond exactly the same. So if I'm a system integrator and I actually want to say, all right, I want it to run at 2,000 on the button. We can actually do that now because it reads back the fan's actual RPM and then adjusts the PWM accordingly so that it actually can dial in RPM control instead of just PWM percentage.